Hello again, and we're going to have a game of Outrun for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum today. Um, well, I will say, I have never ever played it on the Spectrum in my life, so this is the first time. But the reason why I want to review it, because I've reviewed it on mainly everything else. So I've owned it on all the other computers, what I had, like the Commodore 64, the Amstrad, far the worst game I've ever played on um, any feet. This game outrun. I don't know. I thought we'd give it a go on the Spectrum. Even played it on the PC, but I haven't done a review on the PC one yet. Uh, it's a first time for the Spectrum. Okay, you've got to overlook the colours on the um, because the Spectrum doesn't have a very good colour palette. I think <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but you know, the Spectrum owners do agree. I hope, um, but. Overall, looking at the graphics, graphics don't look half bad, and okay, it moves pretty decently for a Spectrum, and all it moves pretty decently. The frame rate's still okay, it's a bit jumpy jerky, but it moves damn sight faster than the fucking Amstrad CPC 464 version, and it plays a lot better than the Amstrad version, too. So the Spectrum version, it's not bad. Oh, um, okay, it's no way as good as the Commodore 64 version, but <laughs> I'll put it on par with the Amiga version because the reason why I'm going to say that the Amiga you expect it to be better, and it was absolutely dreadful. It was crap for the Amiga. It was all right, but it wasn't brilliant. It was more on the region of the crap side really on the Amiga but you know I think with, when they programmed it on the Sinclair S Spectrum I think they used all its resources so using the max out of what they could and it's for the Spectrum point of view it's not a bad game um, as I say it's damn sight better than the Amstrad version because that was just terrible that was just a, a pure junk absolutely shit that was um, but no looking at the graphics of the car looks pretty decent as I said looking at the other graphic the other cars going along okay not bad um, okay the sound effects are a bit of shit on here but at least it's got sound effects <laughs> um, car engine I suppose that is but you can hear it ticking when it goes around the corner it's better than the beep 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 on the Amstrad version which were absolutely shit um, but I'll tell you what if they add this version for the Amstrad with its colour then I would say the Amstrad version would have been a very good version but but um, uh, yeah, that was saying for the Spectrum version, for what it is capable of, this is actually a good version. I mean, yeah, good. Um, as I say, it's the first time I'm playing this on the Spectrum. The Spectrum emulator, I'm using Spectaculator. Um, good, good, very good Spectrum. Um, emulator I, I would say um, but we all know the classic game of Outrun you can't nothing's gonna touch the arcade version nothing will touch that that will always be a classic it was one of my favorite games arcade games of all time oh what's that when we must have been on the next level talking about I'm not even concentrating um, yeah so pretty low quick loading time there it's really good that must be the emulator because I, I think this must have been a multi-load game like it was on the Amstrad um, buddy had that all cassette uh, back in the day on the Amstrad and it took for fucking ever to load up and when it eventually it did load up it played a load of shit um, um, what's this? I know Spectrum games were usually a little bit cheaper than uh, Amstrad and the Commodore 64 version. So I know I paid 9.99 back in the day for Out, uh, um, Outrun, 
um, but I don't know if the Spectrum version was a bit cheaper. It certainly plays better than the Amstrad version, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, not a bad game. Okay, it's not going to be the best version, but I mean, for any for the computer versions, that will always go to the Commodore 64, the best outrun version that I've played, conversion rather. That will go to the, to the Commodore 64 because it played fast, it was nice, colours colours were nice, graphics were good. Okay, the only thing about the Commodore 64 version that you couldn't have a choice, it didn't have to fork in the road. At least with um, this version, the Amstrad version, the, um, the Amiga version, the state quite faithful to the arcade original but I think the Commodore 64 version went it a little bit different so you couldn't have the choice um, but uh, the Spectrum version is, is quite good it's playable it does it's, it's annoying, the traffic's annoying though not just like the Amstrad the car the other cars just switch lanes without letting telling you just right in front of you there's a little bit of a jerkiness to it. Um, okay, colours are pretty poor, but that's down to the Spectrum's colour palette. Always has been, but can't be helped. And yeah, well, considering this is the first time I'm playing this, I've got pretty far. Well, I say far. Stage three. Um, using the curse keys playing this game um, with um, backspace to change gear <laughs> it's an unusual one but it looks like we're going to run out of time anyway but yeah glad I had a go on the spectrum now tell you what much better than the Amstrad version um, yeah good, good conversion I think to the end of our name Initials rather on the end of the view. Thank you for watching and goodbye.